Hello everybody and welcome back to Death Road to Canada. So I haven't played this in about a week ish, kinda. But anyways, let's uh let's see if we can get any further than we did last time. Uh, me. And we'll use my buddy Isaac. And normal. Okay. Alright. Here's rumor that Canada is a safe place, free from the threat of zombies with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida. He decides to brave the death road and travel north. Let's hit the road. To start the journey, group decides to grab some fresh supplies from a nearby location. Let's go to Yalmart. Group spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted. They're mild, sluggish. Let's do it. Uh, let's see, I have an axe and Isaac has a... Isaac, why do you have a pistol? Better take the axe too, just in case. Okay, so far, pretty. E well, I walked into food. That's always good. Let's see. There's a door. What's this? Looks like a grenade. More food. Okay, that's a golf club. I don't really want a golf club. Purse. I don't want a purse. Gas. Okay. Not so bad. What's in here? Bathroom. Um, let's see. Okay, more gas. Oh, I missed. Is that bullets? Bullets. What's in here? Anything? I don't see anything. Okay, let's go. Is that propane? Or is that jar of mayo? Oh, medical. Bullets. Food. Lots of stuff. Uh, I think that's going to be everything. Oh, I just realized, I never spent my Zombo points. We'll let them rack up. Six food, 60 pound gas, one medical, and a bunch of bullets. And we only killed eight zombies. That's not too bad. Campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Let's endure the smell. Endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They're not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. So we went from happy to eh, and we lost food. Group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies to stock up for the journey. Let's go to the grocery store. Isaac, you still have a frying pan. That's fine. Ooh, there's a house. There's another house. Let's go to this house. Ooh. Yes, yes. Get away. Food. More food. Oh, lots of food. This isn't even the grocery store. Wow, there are a lot of rooms in this house. Nothing. Let's go this way. And nothing. Will you die? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Junk. Okay, that was a waste. Wait, is there anything? Okay. I really like the music in this game. Food? Nothing. Okay, I would say this was a successful house. Not too shabby. Let's go to this next house over here. Still only 16 bullets for the pistol. medical 
Something in the toilet. Probably gas. Don't you have to open up like a hundred toilets for the toilet genie? Something like that? Uh, let's go up here. That was a waste. Just a zombie. Bullets. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That wasn't the worst house. Definitely not the best. Let's go up here. Where's this grocery store I heard so much about? I can't go that way? Really? Must be over on this side. There we go. Foodie Myers. Fuddy Myers. I don't know. Ooh, chips. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. I love how the grocery store had the least supplies of all the buildings I went to. Alright, time to go. Let's go. Let's go. Not a bad haul. 14 food, 1 gas, 1 medical, and bullets. Not too shabby. We got a lot of gas. Furniture is the natural enemy of the zombie. A sea of cars blocks the road ahead. The pileup is so bad that there is no obvious way through. Let's find a new route. Decides to take a detour. Taking this route was too optimistic. It lasted for days. The group eats a decent meal. Well, that sucks. There goes like half my gas. The group sets up camp late on the nearby highways, a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Isaac, you're gonna get us gas. Isaac siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Your morale sucks, Isaac. And your morale went back up to eh. Okay, but we got gas, so good job. Isaac is tired. This can opener has seen better days. Isaac, you need to be more optimistic. The weather is gray and dingy, and it's really getting the group down. Someone decides to speak up to help the mood. Me. Tag starts talking to improve the mood. He manages to distract Isaac from the crappy weather. Good. That did nothing for anyone, though. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. Yes, let's visit. Ooh, you have big gun. What do you have? This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in the zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. Um, let's use charm. Tag gets free fitness training. He sweats from the intense exercise. My fitness, my fitness is just awful, and it still sucks. Way to go, me. What's your story? <laughs> the well of wishes hides in the crypt of decay. Okay. Lakeisha is tired of being stuck in this camp. She will join you for a small fee of five food. Um, we're gonna leave you for now. You have a sword though. It's only five food. You know what? The more the merrier. Onward to Canada. What's your story? The group finds a man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. That sounds like a cool gun, but not for me. I like your gun. The group meets a man holding a bazooka and a satchel overstuffed with beeping mines. That's too much food for so little mines. What's your story? Oh yeah, you're a fitness lady. All right, let's go. Thirteen days till Canada. With civilization gone, I mostly just missed the concept of hygiene. The group is about to break into a small fortified grocery store, but then finds Ronetta already living inside. She seems like a calm, clever person. 
Let's have her join us. Sure, I'll join. I was running out of food anyway. Renetta is now part of the team. Brings along some food supplies. Alright. She seems... happy. Oh, she sucks at medical, mechanical, shooting, strength, and fitness. And attitude is horrible. Well, Renetta might not be... Might not be good for the long run. <clears throat> the group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege. Moderate afternoon for one hour. Okay. I have gun and axe. You have frying pan. You have sword and you have frying pan. That's fine, because that's all we really have anyways. Let's go in the building. Get some stuff. I will take these bullets. What's this? Food. Te Ooh, bullets. Oh, yes. Ooh, yes. Ooh, this is good. We gotta hurry, though. Nothing in here. And some gas. That is not too bad. Anyone gonna help me out? Okay. I'll let you guys handle them. Or not. Don't worry. I got it. Okay, maybe we should go back outside. Get, get off me. Siege is over. Good. Okay, let's go. Wow, we killed everybody. Wait. No, I need my car, don't I? No. Siege is over, I guess I just leave. No! I wanna leave. Found three food, five gas, bunch of bullets. Uh-oh. Car smoking. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Um, let's do morale and random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Uh, everyone's morale increased. My mechanical increased. Isaac's shooting increased. Lakeisha's strength increased. Renetta's shooting increased. And we got a zombo point. Good stuff. And we lost gas. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. Berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work and the sleepless night, but every bit could help. How much food do we have? We have 20 food. I think we're fine. The group really doesn't want to pick berries for 8 hours. The group eats a decent meal. That's like half our food almost. We should try to find efficient cars to conserve our gas. Yeah, but don't they break down easier? No, they're just harder to repair. Tag meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled up bodybuilder that was too swole to control, ripping zombies in half after bench pressing them. Tag convinces the woman to give more details. She instead provides some great exercise tips. I'm super happy now, and my strength increased. My strength sucks. Okay. This is so much fun. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's do the Raging Inferno. The group runs into a large house that is both swarmed and on fire. What could have caused this so recently? The answer must be inside. Warning, contents may be hot. They're thick, irritated, and it's nightfall. Oh, this could be a, a very, very bad idea. Renetta, you're getting a flashlight. Lakeisha, you're getting a flashlight. Oh, wow. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Ooh, big gun. Do I not have any bullets for big gun? Okay, now I do. Let's go back to the pistol for now, though. Nothing. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, nothing. Wait, we're missed. Yeah, where'd you go? Ooh, Zombo Point. Scissors. 
There's another gun. Someone take the gun. Someone pick up the gun. Isaac, get the gun. There you go. Good boy. Let's go this way. Isaac, stop catching on fire. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. That was good. There's another room up here. Someone get this gun. So anyone, anyone get the gun. Anyone at all. Anyone, come on, it's a gun. I'm gonna push you into it. Okay, whatever, I'll just get the gun. It's a shotgun, I already had a shotgun, but now I have another shot. Well, no, wait, I dropped it, Never mind. Maybe I should have taken it. Yeah, I'll go back and take it. No more hatchet, I can have two shotguns to use. Give one to Isaac later. That's probably a good idea. Probably. Maybe. It's getting dark. Let's go back to the pistol. Ooh, bunch of bullets. Big hammer. More bullets. That's good. Can't go wrong with more bullets. Nobody catch on fire, okay? What's in here? Bullets? More bullets. Oh, this place has been fantastic. With four people? Yes. Looks like one of those high risk, high reward kind of things. That is a big sword. Fire loot great sword. Oh, heck yeah. Good pick, Isaac. There's another gun. Someone want to grab that? So, anyone? Nope. Okay. Whatevs. Let's go this way. There's nothing this way. Okay. We hit up everything. Yes. We found a bunch of stuff. That was good. That was a good, good, good haul. Oh yeah, we're hurt. Well, you guys ran into the fire. You have to deal with it. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? Renetta. Renetta stands guard for the night. She ignores the task and falls asleep almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Renetta, you suck. Group eats a decent meal. Renetta, you don't get food. You don't deserve food. You're not loyal either. That makes me nervous. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands and all super buff. Even their dog. They demand protein powder. They will also accept the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Lakeisha challenges them to a pose off. Lakeisha challenges the bandits to a pose off. She manages to somehow beat the bandits in a bodybuilding competition, both in the flexing segments and the talent segment. The group is let go. What? That, what? That's funny. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We need gas. Our engine sucks though, our car's about to break down. We'll get more gas when we get a new car. Let's keep driving. We can slow zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them. Yeah. The clouds part and a rainbow appears. A Valkyrie rides a unicorn down the rainbow. You've been selling tons of stuff. I've been sent here by Thor and crap to help you out on your quest. It really isn't a big deal, so don't question it. Let's accept her offer. Valkyrie notices that your group is full. Well, someone's gonna have to leave. She throws her hammer and thugs tag right in the skull. I left? Why me? Okay. Well, I died. We can get solar panels and a couple batteries. Why did I have to die? 
car's gonna break down. I'm out of gas. Yep. Lakeisha, are you good at mechanical? We don't know. Try to fix it. Keisha pops the hood of the car. She somehow manages to get the car running, but it takes a full day. The next time this car breaks down, Lakeisha won't be able to repair it unless her mechanical skill is higher. Oh, she's a decent mechanic. Her morale and everything went down, so that kind of sucks. I don't know why you fixed the car. Okay. Well, the car's completely done now. No gas. Without a car, the group is, sit is a sitting duck for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits. I apologize for the robbery. They are likely new at this. They demand all your extra gas. I have no gas. And half your ammo and medical supplies. Lakeisha expected this. Lakeisha foresaw an ambush. So she set her plans up shortly before the bandits appeared. When the bandits make their demands for Lakeisha, the other members sneak behind them in a counter ambush. They're surprised by this and surrender. Lakeisha, you, you're not too shabby, you know that? Then again, I have a Valkyrie. Why can't I just beat them up? While walking along a dark road, Valkyrie thought that she spotted a car in the distance. It was only when she got close to it that she realized it was just a giant rock. What a shame. Everyone's morale went down. While walking on the outskirts of town, Valkyrie finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Thinking all is lost, Valkyrie spots an old SUV in the back of the store. You know what? We got a car. That's good. Group cans in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make it make a lot of noise. The group didn't have nearly enough food to eat. Doubt festers. Uh, we need food. Uh, I don't know, though. Yeah, we have no food. Let's tinker. Uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. The group will be very tired tomorrow. That was not worth it. Oh. Are we there yet? Uh. Five bandits ambush the group while they are about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half-whisper, afraid to attract undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they will yell. Don't have the food. Explains that the group doesn't have enough food. The bandits think that this is a lie. One of the bandits yells and chaos erupts as the zombies swarm out. Escape was messy. Valkyrie is hurt. Isaac is killed. Lakeisha is hurt and Renetta is hurt. That sucks. Well, there goes me and Isaac. It started to rain over the city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. <sighs> Man. I say the safe house. We need food. Valkyrie, what do you have? You have a you have a hammer. That's that's good. You're gonna take a pistol as well. Makisha. What time did it say it was? Oh well. Um, you're gonna take the fire lung great sword and a shotgun. Renetta hot poker. You're gonna have the rusty machete and a frying pan. Oh, this hammer's cool. It just destroys everything. Oh, heck yeah, Valkyrie for the win. No way I'm not making it to Canada this time. Why is my morale going down? Is it because it was raining? Ooh, Zombo Point. I'll be sure to add those after I die. I'm on fire! Oh, Valkyrie can't die. I cannot let that happen. Okay, medical. That's good. We only found one food, though. We need more food. We 
you die? Wait, there's nothing in here. Food! Cut food. Nothing. One more door. Then we'll probably go to the safe house. That wasn't a zombie, that was a chair I was shooting. Oops. Waste of bullets. Where is this safe house? Well, here's another house. Junk. Nothing. Maybe I should have grabbed a flashlight. I see myself being here for a little while. There's another big gun. Someone grab the shotgun. Someone. Fine. I tried to be nice. Oh, this hammer is so cool. Okay, let's go in here. Nothing. Oh, no way, I can throw the hammer? That's even better. Die. Oh, there's a thingy. Eight bullets. Oh, yes. Die. Whoa, you didn't die. Okay, here's all the food I've been wanting. It's good. It's good. Die. Nothing. Okay, this level has been very generous to me. It's gotta be setting me up for something. Another Zombo point. There's gonna be like some huge siege or something. Okay, I gotta say, I have a pretty solid team right now though. I haven't even found the storeroom or safe house. Safe here. It's already four o'clock. Nothing. Stuff. I like stuff. Stuff is good. Is that a flashlight? Someone should probably grab that. Thank you. Bullets. Wait, yeah, nothing. Okay. Been in there. Let's go over here. Oh, what'd you break? Ah, get off. Wait, what happened to my hammer? Okay, there it is. Thought I dropped it. That would not be good. Oh, this level has been so good to me. And there's still other buildings too. I just gotta be fast. Let me in. There we go. Okay, safe house was good. Let's go this way. What was that? Oh, I love this hammer so much. I've already been in here. Been in here. This hammer is so, so cool. And I'm really saving up on the bullets. Haven't been in here. With good reason.
Okay, it might be time to skedaddle before we push our luck. That was good. That was really good. Oh, that was so good. Thank you, Lakeisha. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. Renetta. The other members stand guard outside for the looters as Renetta searches the grocery store. Renetta says there wasn't any food in there. Her morale decreased. And it increased. Okay. Whatever keeps Valkyrie on the team. The group finds a waterlogged store. There's a lot of mannequins inside, barely visible to the in the darkness. The whole store is especially creepy. There may be some moldy supplies left in there. Send someone in. Renetta, because I don't like her. She keeps calm, takes the loot she finds, and gets out of there. Oh, wow. Good job, Renetta. I didn't think you would do that. Oh, Valkyrie's at full health now. That's good. We need to get our morale up. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 19 food left. Ooh, trader camp. What's your story? The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and a robe. I saw axes, just axes. Out of one an axe. What do you have? Trader is waving a sturdy military flashlight around. It's an old business trick to draw in customers. No. Group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot in the side. There are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Ooh, grenades would be good. But I can't risk much food right now. Hey, get out of my house. Okay. Fine then. Is there anything in the box? No. It's just an unbreakable box. And a cane. Okay, nine days until Canada. We're doing really good. I don't want to talk to you. Like, we're doing really good. Try to conserve your ammo. Attack only when you have to. The group is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded by, at all sides by a horde. They are funneled into the only place that looks defendable. A ruined mall. Massive near noon. Giant siege. Okay, we're given guns. You can have a pistol as well. Renetta. Okay. Ooh, cop. Gotta be some stuff in here I can get. If not, I will be slightly disappointed. I can't go that way. Hello. Uh, who dropped the rusty long blade thing? And why? Someone get this. Fire loop. Yeah, someone grab that. How do I switch? Okay. That was like the most stupid thing you could have done, Renetta. Okay, well, there goes the cops. I am so glad that I have not been using my ammo for this very particular reason. 
As soon as the siege is over, I think I should just go. Get off me. Get off. Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay. Used a lot of bullets, but... It's alright. Group feels inspired. That's good. Morale and random medical. Every day is a great teacher. Yes, we need our morale up. We do not want anybody leaving us. Another Zombo point. Good for us. We're gonna need some gas soon. Group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Valkyrie looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Let's shoot golf balls at the zombies. Group picks up a bunch of clubs and gets some buckets of golf balls. They start driving shots down the range as the zombies close in. It's hard work and the team mostly just tries themselves tires themselves out. They are overwhelmed by the zombies. We got hurt. Group eats a decent meal. Oh, that sucks. Renetta and Lakeisha are about to die. That's not good. Bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand that everyone passing pays a toll. They want 12 food to pass safely. Let's take a detour. The group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. Take some extra time and gas, but not too much. That's fine. We can't afford to get hurt. Out of gas. Well, that sucks. Group runs into a particularly rough stretch of road. There's nothing life-threatening about it. It's just a long and miserable walk. They get bruised and battered in multiple small accidents. Valkyrie is hurt. Okay, so we're all about to die now. The group spots an old boot on the road. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size, but hey, it's free. It's usually a symbol of good luck. Get the boot. There's a city ahead, rotten with zombies. The group knows that walking through a city street like this is a bad idea, but a car waits at the end of it. Very thick and irritated. Sounds like fun. Let's save the great sword since people are just gonna drop it. What's the throwing boot? Lakeisha, you get throwing boot. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Everyone, get away from me. Hey, gas. Okay. Yeah, it is very thick, isn't it? Okay, let's just go. Oh, Renetta died. That's not the worst thing ever. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, it's just Valkyrie. All right, I got a car. Every day it gets me a little closer to Canada. While driving on death road, Valkyrie decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, quiet farm. Valkyrie finds a farm. Looks like it was just abandoned and hurry long, long ago. There should be some field tools left behind. I don't want field tools. I want medical supplies. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, just have me jump out of the car right on top of some zombies, why don't you? Oh gosh, oh gosh, not good. Oh, I don't like this. Nine bullets. Food. I don't like this. I don't like it. I wonder if they won't find me because I'm not using a gun. Is that a mechanic in this game? Uh, no, I want my hammer back. 
What's this? Nightstick? Okay, I don't want field tools. Looks like there's really nothing else around, though. Unless I can kill them all. I don't know if I really want to do that. Okay, this hammer is just destroying everything for me. It'd be nice if I could have it back, though. Thank you. Okay. We found stuff. I need medical supplies, though. Wonder how things are further up north. Well, we'll find out. Valkyrie gets frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed, playing the same song over and over again. Who should try and repair it? Me, or just turn it off? Valkyrie rips the CD player out of the dashboard and then chucks it out the window. Problem solved. My morale increased. Well, that's better than nothing. Valkyrie goes against her judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When she wakes up, the building is on fire. Plan out escape. Valkyrie tries to keep calm and observant. She can't keep calm at all. Valkyrie panics. She leaves unhurt. That's good, or else I would have died. Valkyrie makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. She is trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is heavy garbage and a large fence. Use parkour. You can fly. Valkyrie does a sick parkour flip off some garbage and over the fence. No big deal. It's all too trivial a move for Valkyrie. Yeah, you can fly. Are we a Canada yet? The draft Canada used to take a few days at most. The apocalypse filled the roads with debris, hordes of zombies and lots of stranded cars. It's now a long trip. Trading camp. Yes. Okay. Sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. No. What's your story? Valkyrie finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. Yes. Healthcare. Yes. I don't care if I lost six food. I'm healed. Talks to a friendly scavenger who's selling extra bullets. Uh. No. Wait. Eight bullets for every food. No. I have enough bullets. I think. Okay, let's go. One week until Canada. While driving on the death road, Valkyrie decides to make a stop for supplies. I could use some food and some gas. Crowded Yalmart. Okay, they're thick and irritated. Let's let's do our best. Oh, and it's dark. I should have grabbed a flashlight. Dang it. We'll be quick. In and out. Get off. Go away. Okay. Whew. Stuff. 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 Yes. Good. It's in here. Oh, more stuff. Medical. Yes. Okay, shotgun time. No, get off me! Get off me! Ah, uh, go, 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 go! Oh, I hate this. Okay, more food. Hopefully I can find one more medical or something to make up for what I just did to myself.
Oh, I want to go in there so bad, but I can't risk it. Okay. There's so much I think I left behind. Oh, go, go! Oh, man. We found stuff. But I got really hurt from that. Valkyrie couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Morale decreased. Ate food. Six days until Canada. And I need more medical supplies. Dang it. Valkyrie tries shelter in a Wonker Burger, which was a chain of Berg. Rest burger restaurants before the apocalypse. Unfortunately, they serve real food, so it should all be spoiled by now. To her great surprise, there's an untouched and still hot Wonker burger right on the table. It is the extra spicy Wonker world famous as a burg of pain, but also hope. Burg means burger. Um, eat the burger. Devours the burg. It was a critical hit. The extra spicy Wonker comforts its blessing. Now things are starting to get spicy. Heat immunity granted. Interesting, and my morale went from horrible to fantastic. Could this be a gift from the gods of Bergs? What I need is medical. Valkyrie is traveling close to nightfall and sees a city in the distance. The zombies grow more aggressive as the sun sets. <sighs> Furniture store, I guess. I need medical. Game kind of freaked out there. Furniturarium. Why didn't I grab a flashlight? I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, uh, this is stressful. I don't like this place. Yes! Oh, yes. I can't be too stingy. Like, I have to go in and out, and that's it. Okay, one more time. Oh, yes. Oh, they're starting to come in. No! 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 Valkyrie, no! You just got the medical stuff. Oh, man. Alright, let's do... Oh, let's do our Zombo points. Okay. Some kind of blue bird, it squawks. No, let's get away. More info. No. Cool. That sucks. I'm Valkyrie. It's everyone's story here. Last bodybuilder looks lost in thought. You can't rely on guns to survive. The only guns you can truly rely on are these guns. TLB flexes big time. What's uh what's my perks? I'm a charming fighter. Uh, I call them unlocks or unks for short. Interesting. Uh, let's see. You're running around flailing just has no grace to it. You should use intelligence. Uh, mechanic. Friend of dog. Healthcare. I like that. Okay. Start with four medical supplies. I like that. 
Gain one point in medical. Let's upgrade again. You have upgraded the healthcare perk. Any characters you assign to ha or have assigned this perk will get to enjoy the new effects. I like that. Let's do mechanic. Color's life. Not necessarily a competent mechanic. Start with a wrench, gain one point in mechanical, gain one point in fitness. Let's do it. Get a- no, I'm done talking to you. Uh, you need a good weapon near. Lots of ammo. Surgeon, fighter, gungeoneer. Let's do fighter. Uh, start with a hatchet, one point in strength, one point in shooting. Let's do it. Can we do it again? Two points of strength, one point in shooting. Let's do let's do medical again. I think I'm gonna switch my character to med medical instead of fighter. That was you, right? No, that's mechanic. Oops. Healthcare. Start with five medical supplies and two points of medical. I like that. That was a good choice. Now I gotta go equip it. Isaac, not me. That's my character. Load me. Uh, no. What was it? Surgeon? No. Healthcare. Seven medical supplies, two points of medical. Sounds good. Save. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, that was Death Road to Canada. I hope everyone's enjoyed this. I've been having a lot of fun with it. If you have, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget and hit the subscribe button and the bell for future notifications. Check out my Instagram and Twitter where I post updates on the channel. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night and bye bye